Hey guys. <coughs> Welcome to wait, hold up. Okay. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, that was a very pathetic intro. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Z again with another interesting video for you. If you're new here, please like, subscribe, share, you know what to do. And if you're not new here, thanks for coming back and clicking on this video. And yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, my intro is too long. Okay, so... <laughs> Before we begin, I just want to remind you guys that my editing course launches this week on Friday. So if you want to learn how to edit videos, if you want to learn, you know, all the tea about editing YouTube intros, thumbnails, the videos itself, I'm going to be selling my editing course. It's going to be available on the Tribe Based Edition site at only 45 kwacha. And as soon as it launches, I'm going to give you guys the link to go and purchase it. Literally, I'm spilling all the tea for only 45 kwacha. Like, there's no one who's going to teach you how to edit videos for free. But I'm giving it to you at a very affordable price. So just, you know, buy it. Homegirl oh, needs to buy clothes. <laughs> anyway, I'd really appreciate you guys bought it. And this is a way of helping you guys like learn how to edit videos because there's some stuff that I really just can't explain but demonstrate. So I'm going to have the editing course available for purchase on the Tribe Residence site. Make sure you guys get into that. And yeah, let's get into today's video. Finally, you. So I'm actually pretty, pretty excited to do this one. Like I've actually i thought about it yesterday i'm not even going to cap like i was i was procrastinating like not really procrastinating but i was thinking like what content should come next because i've got so many ideas but i just didn't feel right with any of them so i'm like you know let me just an advice video because i know my people like that and i'm here to deliver so yeah so i put up a poll on my instagram on friday night if i can remember correctly asking you guys to ask me questions about certain topics let me talk about issues to do with spirituality relationships work school youtube what 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 and you guys gave me some pretty good stuff i need a drink actually you don't need a drink Manzela. you just drank water i've been drinking juice too. i've been using the toilet too much like literally but anyway yeah and um yeah okay but my hair looks really really cute I'm really only going to bring this here when going to school because ish. I'm supposed to be in school in like two weeks. I think I don't really need to go to school because like I'm with my boo. Anyway, okay, let's get into the, let's get into the video. Let's actually get into the video. I'm going to be yeah reading out the questions one by one. I read through them already, and you know some of them are similar, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, so the first question I was asked was, is it so hard to keep up with social media and your spiritual life? um let me tell you guys one thing it is hard like i'm not even going to lie to you guys it is hard because you find that there's certain times when you go online yeah like on instagram whatsapp twitter and you see so many posts that contradict your spirituality and you're like is what i believe in even worth believing you know what i'm saying and it has happened to me a lot i'm not going to cap to you guys like it happened to me quite a lot where you know because of social media i lose myself especially with god because then i'm like okay you know what really am i you know because it, it it's 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 complicated you know social media there's a lot there's a lot of social media so i feel like yeah there are times when it's going to affect your spiritual relationship but that's why you guys need to have a strong connection with god so that such things don't fumble you you know because it's every day when you're going to see a post about no why do you believe in god when this happens and stuff like that so as long as you have a strong connection with god that's not going to fumble you because there's so many things that can distract you trust me and we're going to get deep in because there are some really deep questions that i'm willing to answer okay then i'm excited <laughs> but yeah so i can't say it is hard to an extent but i've learned to manage everything like i said as long as you've got a strong connection with god it's not going to be hard to balance everything because i know most of the time you know posting things to do with god and whatnot is deemed dry like you people you don't you're not proud of boasting about the one that created you like guys you know what i'm saying so yeah um it's at that now i can say it's not hard because I balance up everything, but it can be, it can be. So yeah, um, what's the best way to manage finances, particularly in university? Budget, that's one word, 
budget you need to learn how to budget your money i shouldn't even be like talking about this because i'm one person who's an impulse buyer but the best way to manage your finances at school is to budget make sure you always buy the essentials first so this is a little strategy that i learned like when i went to school um when you whenever you earn money like your monthly allowance or something like that yeah put 25 percent away either in a savings account or you know lock it away somewhere where it can't be touched just like 25 percent so for example if you get like 100 kwacha right put 25 kwacha away and then budget on the 75 kwacha and then from the 75 kwacha what you're going to do is you're going to start buying the important things first now this differs for most people but then for me when it comes to like my allowance usually it's for things like you know groceries like food toiletries etc so i'll start by buying my food buy my toiletries and then if there's change then i can buy things like chocolate what you will never find me purchasing snacks guys i can't remember the last time i had snacks at school like i don't buy snacks i think it's not because i don't want to but it's because i want to save money to buy clothes so like i said you need to know what your priorities are some people don't even want to eat at school some people want to use the money to go out and stuff like that but the better to spend on everything just to budget and remember that always save at least 25 percent of your money just lock it away somewhere because that money will come in handy it's for emergencies like um you know, maybe you go to the hospital or you buy medicine, you know, such things that come up because life is crazy. So, yeah. And then only buy what's necessary when necessary. There's no need of buying certain things. Like, even I've learned, like, from the first month I spent at university, you know, like buying things like, you know, okay, there's certain foods like bacon, Vienna sausage. You know, I don't buy such things just for the economy is bad and i should be spending money on such things that i can eat at home mm -mm, please like just buy really chicken sausage meat you put potatoes rice macaroni you put spices sauce mayonnaise juice butter you put like only the essentials the things that you can't live without that you buy and then when you do that when you learn to budget you're going to find that you have more money kept for things that are you know like other stuff if you want to go out over the weekend and stuff like that because i know people would be like no but how do you manage to go out and stuff like that budget it's all budgeting it's all budgeting um the next, the next question was <laughs> checking back a guy that cheats on you does that mean blend the list no <laughs> no it doesn't mean blend the list it just means they're foolish <laughs> advocate of if somebody cheats on you leave like i'm saying this because personally i feel if somebody has the guts to disrespect you like that once what makes you think they're not going to disrespect you again i'm one person who's like i'm a person that gives second chances a lot especially not just um with relationships and stuff but like even friendships and whatnot but cheating the deal breaker Yes. okay the next question is what does walking in your purpose feel or look like to you walking in your purpose to me feels like you know what the hell you're doing with yourself um people have asked like in fact not even people but like i am currently reading a bible plan about knowing where you stand in god knowing who you are and whatnot and you know i know it can be very hard to find what you're good at as a person or what your purpose is on earth as a person especially in this age where everybody seems to be doing what everybody else is doing you know you go to university you find everybody is drinking you start drinking purpose just doesn't mean that you're not going to be peer pressure to do such things it also means that you're going to be okay with being different from everybody else because and if you want to know how you can find your purpose the finding your purpose is in god because god created each and every one of us for a purpose so if you're not close to god if you don't have a relationship with him how do you honestly expect him to show you why you're on earth like just think about that guys because you know you wake up every morning you go onto instagram you go onto whatsapp you go on twitter you go onto facebook for those on facebook every day the whole day you're there 
you go to sleep at night you don't pray you don't read the bible and if and then you're ever so depressed you're ever anxious then you ask yourself why am i even alive you know like sometimes just give yourself a reality check because these are things that we know we just don't want to do them because it doesn't seem cool because honestly if you look at every successful person out there genuine success they all put god first and i can give clear examples but i'm not going to start mentioning names over here but every person who seems to be doing fine always puts god first with whatever that they do because it's only through him that you're going to make it in life so you want to know your purpose talk to god about it that's like the, the best way to do that this might get a little emotional because i'm going to start crying jokes um how do you stop feeling scared for an exam my dear you can't all right i have dreams that i felt guys i think today today is what i'm shooting this on saturday guys i had a dream that i failed my exams you guys i think i've dreamed about <laughs> ha fear consume you you end up writing my don't win the paper but some tips i can give you is before an exam make sure you rest sleep eat enough get enough sleep you know go to bed early and wake up early because I for one am one person. If I'm writing an exam tomorrow, I'll sleep at 19 hours. And I know, yes, fighting in the car at the last minute, you haven't been studying the whole semester or the whole term if you're in high school. But it does work for some people and it has worked for me sometimes, but it's not the best to do it because you go to the exam feeling anxious. You know, the best way, the, how to stop feeling scared before an exam is study because the reason why we feel scared is because what we haven't studied so if at all if you've been doing all your preparation from the time the semester started or from the time the term started by the time you're getting to the exam you know what you need to know to pass because i know that in uni my for me the course i'm doing uh, to clear it you have to get about 50 percent uh most courses at my school in academic courses you need to get 40 percent but i'm doing a professional course ACA, you have to get about 50 percent to clear and it's not <laughs> trust me i know you're in high school hey when i go to uni i'll be getting night is a joke guys i can't, <laughs> I can't remember the last time i got 90 i'm not even going to cap it's hard it's hard it's hard so the best way to stop feeling scared is prepare adequately obviously that scared feeling will always be there like you know but pray relax eat enough sleep enough before the paper and just go with a clear conscience, a clear mind, so that while you're writing, you're able to retain what you studied. That's the only way you can not go and pass. Like, that's why you're going to stop feeling scared. How do you manage school and YouTube? I think school and YouTube is because of God. Because I know that despite the fact that I need to deliver content to you guys, I have a degree to bad you know so i know why i'm doing what i'm doing and that's the only reason why because trust me if i didn't want to get that <laughs> but yeah next do you handle hate on social media especially from for emotional people best way to handle hate i'm, I'm trying to adjust this castor, but it doesn't fall i made like a style <laughs> yeah the ability to handle hate on social media is not to handle it guys just laugh through it please if people are saying negative things about you just be like you know what you're not me don't understand eee! i thought you guys that i told you guys that i went for surgery yeah my toe it's throbbing yeah the best way to handle hate on social media is not to handle it at all when people say bad stuff about you people say negative things about you they say you're too skinny you're too fat you're too ugly you're too pretty some people are oppressed by the fact that you're pretty <laughs> just say you know what you're not me okay you don't know what i'm going through let me have my time to shine you know and i'm one person that i don't even respond like to negative comments so sometimes i just let, leave them and just let, let them enjoy talking because people will never stop talking and i said this even in my previous video the vlog at home people will never stop talking negativity will always be there hate also it will always be there if you're on social media as long as you got an account someone is saying bad things about you even if these things do happen but you just have to be like you know what you ain't me okay <laughs> yeah like just have to know yourself like stand your ground don't respond just be like you know what 
like it's okay so what you have to say and like move on it's taken me a while to learn how to do that personally it, it, it's taken me i think four years to learn how to do that but i'm just grateful that i actually am at the point where i am now because trust me when i began this whole social media taking pictures what i used to cry in fact even this year i used to cry but that's not the point also pray for every question that you ask me guys i'm going to mention god because he is that he's supposed to be that significant in your life if you feel like you're being affected by his social media pray and read the word of god fully and wonderfully made in the image of god so why should you care what people are saying about you if you're made in god's image simple next mm. how can you get closer to god without turning back okay yeah jesus t <laughs> okay um it's hard i'm not going to lie to you guys being a christian having a strong relationship with god is hard but the best way to do this is to meditate on the word of god every day to pray every day when you wake up and when you go to bed and i'm not just saying a prayer like lord please with me throughout the day okay even that but what i mean is you know ask him to guide you ask him to give you wisdom guys read the bible okay like at first when what in high school in grade 10 i used to read the bible to pass her <laughs> i'm not going to like you guys like i got baptized as a baby and then i was a com i was a full communicant member like i said taking communion in grade eight so from that from that time all the way to i finished grade 12 I just read the Bible to pass RE. Like literally memorizing passages, all of those. There's a time for everything, the three servants, all those parables. We know them. King James. Mm. King what? Kings. Eh. I've been putting the names. Yeah. All those passages. I just memorize them just to pass RE because I knew that, you know, I needed to bag my nine ones. Even let me get nine ones because that was very not wise of me. Or rather, that was very wrong of me to do. When I finished high school, right, like, especially during, I think I became close to God during quarantine because I went through a very, very bad, ish, <laughs> guys, I went through a very bad um, phase in my life. So, you know, I was broken, like, emotionally, spiritually, like, ish, I was tested, guys, my faith was tested. So, you know, when I went through that dark that dark cloud you know i was like ah, people say you know god god this god helps god what let me see how i can start so slowly um my mom bought me this bible it's a uh, she bought me this bible can you guys get can you guys see this yeah she bought me this bible and you know i started reading it like because it's a prayer bible so there are prayers for situations and whatnot so you know every time i thought like maybe jealous of somebody i read the prayer every time i thought you know depressed i read the prayer etc and whatnot so um when i started reading those prayers like each prayer was accompanied by a bible verse so when you read the prayer you go to the bible verse and then i read the bible verse and slowly i said picking up like i literally found myself when i'm feeling low i would recall a bible verse no, and then that's when I started understanding why they make us memorize passages like John 3 verse 16 in Sunday school. Because those verses literally replay in my head. All of those, John 3 verse 16, 1 John 1 verse 1, all of those, you know, they replay. And they're actually related to real life situations. So, you know, slowly but surely I was like, okay, I'm being like this. The Bible says this, so I should do this. Just like that. And that's when I said, you know, what what's the word recreating my relationship with god i remember i prayed and i was like you know what here like i've gone through this dark cloud like i'm tired i was depressed for three four months guys and then i was like okay here i'm broke. like i'm shattered i don't know what to do with myself during quarantine huh? the covid what yeah like last year when we were, lo when we were locked down that's why i'm actually very grateful that we actually went through that lockdown because it went through that lockdown i don't think i'd be where i am today to be honest yeah i'm like you know what he just fix me you know and then um i remember at that time some friends of mine had created this group 
on WhatsApp for Bible study. I don't even know why we stopped that, to be honest. But uh, we had made a group Bible study. So it was literally connecting teenagers from everywhere. Like, as long as you got the link, you can join the group and stuff like that. So when I joined the group, at first, I never used to talk much because I was like, okay, let me see what people have going on and what they have to say so that I can be encouraged. And then a friend of mine, actually, like, we actually in the same class, was like, you guys, if you um want to actually, like, read the bible more there's this app called the bible app the u version bible the u version bible app. i'm going to put it up here that you know helps it has bible plans every day there's the verse of the day it helps a lot and it's actually like a fun way because we're always on our phones and i know it can be hard especially like to have a handwritten bible um but this one it helps a lot because it's like on your phone and stuff like that it's guided people preach every day you know like to my short one minute videos just to encourage you and stuff like that so i'm like okay let me download it and see what it's about and guys that app changed my life literally the U Vision bible app i know a lot of people currently use it that app is like amazing because you know you find that there's certain times out i don't even know how the the bible knows like you know the days when i feel a certain way and i open the app and the verse of the day relates so much to what I'm going through on that specific day. So it really does help a lot. And, you know, I feel that's the best way to sort of, you know, keep your relationship with God intact. Because we're only human, guys. We are going to fumble. I, I also fumble every now and then. Sometimes I'm even like, why does God bless me? Because <laughs> um, I lie, man. Like, we all go through these things, you know. We cast what? But... As long as you meditate on the word of God every day and pray every morning when you wake up, thank him for waking you up and ask him to guide you throughout the day. And every, and every night before you go to bed, thank him for guiding you throughout the day. Ask for protection for all your loved ones. Your, you know these prayers, they sound cliche, but they're actually very powerful. You guys should really try it. So, yeah. Mm. Next. Under social media, do you believe in what people see they can't destroy? No, I don't believe that. I think it's a lie. Um, I'm saying this because there's no you can tell me that just because something isn't known by people, it's not going to it's going to work out. <laughs> Guys, so many people would be like, no, if you keep your relationship private, a secret, and if you don't tell anybody that you're dating, you're never going to break up. And then girls that have broken up. What I'm just trying to say is that don't put all your business on social media. One, because I think, guys, we know there's an extent to which you can share things. You don't everything, any small thing, any small thing, any small thing. Any small thing. <laughs> there's so much that you guys don't know about me. And I know I'm very active, but there's so much that I don't want to include on social media because why? It's me, my life. Let me go through that stuff. But just because I share something with you guys, or just because somebody shares something on their story, it doesn't mean that it's going to be destroyed by people. Yes, people talk bad. Yes, people will say, ah, why does she have this? Ah, she's too rich. Ah, she's too poor. She's too ugly. What? People will talk, okay? But that shouldn't... Like, back to the thing I was saying about negativity. When you post that you have like a business plan, like okay, guys, I want to start a business, right? And then somebody says, ah, you can't even manage, you know? And then you automatically are broken. Oh no, yeah, I can't manage. I can't manage. First of all, why are you letting somebody else's words, you know, fumble your plans? That's the only way you can be destroyed by social media. That's the that's the only way that I believe you can because. If you post something and you're not fumbled by what to say about it and continue doing it, trust me, they'll eventually stop, you know, even relationships. But what, there's a certain extent to which you can post. Like, I'm one person that, I mean, you guys know that I'm the, like, it's not a secret. I'm not going to keep my relationship a secret, but I'm going to keep it private. Why? Because I don't feel there's a need for you guys to see everything that goes down. Okay, when there's an argument, I don't expect you both to know. When there's, you know, when we're fighting, I don't, I don't know. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? But just because you guys know, I don't know, going to clap. You so if you want to do something on social media, just a pro tip, share it. If you want to post it, post it. But regulate what you post. Know what you're posting and know that whatever you post is being seen by other people. Some people are witches. They will pray against your success. This is why you need to have what? God. So if people pray against you, God works against them. Next. Mm. 
how do you meditate on the word of God every day when I okay let me tell you guys my little prayer routine let me just let you guys know so um every day when I wake up in the morning I make it a habit to always pray and sometimes it is hard because I end up I end up looking at my phone first before I pray but I make it a habit to always pray when I just wake up after praying I open my Bible up on my phone right there's a verse of this like a, there's like an introduction and there's the verse of the day then there's a little sermon that's delivered like every day guys that Bible app is like really really good there's a little like sermon that's delivered just like words of encouragement then there's like a text not really like um, a Bible passage but like relating to the rest of the day so they give you something like a, i don't know like not really a story but it's just some words of encouragement in form of like a script sometimes there are lots of things that short yeah it varies you read the rest of the day image and then then there's a prayer then you close so i do that every morning right and then after that sometimes like when i go online obviously i like to at least just read something i don't know if you guys there are these pages i follow on instagram trust god bro you version of course i follow you version uh, so i always see like they always put um you know, like remember to pray such things post on that in my story then i can start my day because i have spent time with god and there are also days when i'm not really doing anything with myself so i just go outside and sit and then i just start talking to him or that doesn't have prayer sessions where I just literally like kneel down on my bed and like start praying. Sometimes I cry because like life is hard. You know, sometimes I don't even have what to say. Like sometimes life gets so overwhelming, guys. <laughs> Wait, just do that. I just like, okay, God, yeah. I don't even know what to say, but help me, you know. So yeah, meditation, it happens. It's not something that you learn overnight. It's something just it's a skill, it's a habit you're supposed to nurture, like over time. And eventually, you're going to get used to it. I know, I know that in our generation, I don't know why, it's so not cool to, like, post about God, you know? But yet, to be the same people complaining about anxiety and depression, but you don't want to let God inside your life. That doesn't even make sense, because literally, guys, guys, literally, you have... The solution to all your problems is here, but you don't want to allow him to work in your lives because you're so afraid of letting go of your lifestyle. You know, there's really, trust me, there's nothing. All these things that we see in the world, um, you know, like, I'm not saying that you should stop enjoyment or what. I also go for enjoyment. It's nice to relax sometimes. But these things shouldn't be priorities in your life because when you go out with your friends to forget about your problems, if you come back, you wake up with the problems, you sleep drunk, you black out. When you wake up, you'll be hungover, plus your problems will still be there, you know? I'm not saying stop doing alcohol or whatever, but like all I'm saying is stop trying to look for peace in these worldly things because they are going to remain when we go to heaven or oh, hell. Guys, <clears throat> imagine burning fat. Please, 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 I urge you guys. Like, I'm actually happy I'm doing this video because I needed to tell you. Like, guys, uh, okay? These things that the phone that you're using, the clothes they're wearing, if you're such a everything's going to remain. It's just going to be you and God. And then when you reach there, you, you'll be held accountable for everything that you've been doing on earth. Then how would you feel, even as yourself, all these years you've wasted, then now on that day, when that day comes, Look, I have there will be a TV. I don't know whether the, there will be a TV showing your sins, something like that. But just imagine when you could have a chance to turn back and like, actually, form a relationship with him. You were busy, busy doing your own things. Yes, do your own things, but do them the right way with God. Even when you're going out with God, help that my outing will be enjoyable. And please do it. May you go. You come back, you pray before you sleep, you sleep, you black out, pray the next morning, thank you God for taking me through such things, he feels nice, because he doesn't, imagine you create children, you create children, you give birth, yeah, you give birth, and they are doing madongo, can you finish as a parent, you can't, that's how God feels when we're busy doing mistakes, so please, mm. I don't even know what the question was, oh, how do you, <laughs> yes, that's how we get in the world of God, um, 
I know you haven't put this up, but just in case you are willing to then on someone who might want to do a long distance relationship during their university education, it's possible. I don't know why poor. Okay, lots of people are scared of long distance because for most people, they are what? Um, what's the word? What's the word? Their love language is physical touch. A lot of us, but um, sometimes. Okay, you can't really control what happened in somebody else's life. So even that you've been dating this person for five, six months, it's time to go to university. And they want to go abroad, okay? Don't stop them. This is one thing that I... You would be very dull if you convinced somebody to stay in Zambia so that you can work on your relationship. Like, I'm not saying that staying in Zambia is bad because there are a lot of us that are schooling in Zambia. But what I'm just saying is, I mean, some people have their own plans. If this person has got a plan to go out of the country, let them, okay? If this person really loves you, they are going to find a way to work through it. I know so many people that have worked long distance. I'm an example. <laughs> yeah. There's so many people that are working long distance. And you know, like I said, true love will persevere through anything. If it's last, once the person dips, the feelings will go with that person. That's just how it is. So if you're in university and you want true love is you know abroad or maybe in a different city a different country find ways of staying connected to each other you know like call frequently i know especially like with this time difference thing call frequently as often as you can like obviously you're not busy find a schedule make it work it's possible it's not impossible i don't know if i know you know what but the foolish people are going to cheat because they can't anymore. That's why I say, if you know you're not going to be able to do a long distance relationship, end it for the person that you're with. But I feel like it's it's possible. Just know what you want in life. First of all, we want to go around sleeping with everybody. How to gain confidence and how do you manage to balance schoolwork and social life? I answered that part of the question earlier so i'm not going to answer it but how to gain confidence god there's my favorite bible verse of all time philippians 1 verse 6 ish guys and god began working on you and he will not stop till jesus christ comes again yeah so basically what that means is that god will never stop working on you every day you learn something new every day you know and once you understand that god works in you be more confident in yourself why because you know that you're carrying the light of christ every day i know sometimes it can be very hard to be confident especially ish now i've seen some other questions i'm going to get to that but i know it can be very hard to be confident with things that you do especially when nobody else believes in you but yourself that's why you need to have that light shining inside you because it's you who's going to drive you where you want to be in life i think i've been tweeted about this once yeah because trust me, not everybody supports what you're going to do. Not everybody supports what I do. But the reason why I'm where I'm there is because of myself. You know, you have to learn to put God first. Guys, pray. I know that when someone says pray, it's like, have this on. You know, you want a practical. That's very practical. Practical advice. So, let's move on to the next question so that I can answer this properly. Because I think I saw like three. Um, yeah. How should a person have confidence when they have too many physical insecurities? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going to be a long video. <laughs> All of us have insecurities. Even I have insecurities. All, there is nobody who is perfect. Okay, everybody has got something that they're ashamed of or afraid of or they're not willing to accept it, you know, etc. But this is why you need to continue meditating on the word of God. Like, every time you feel like you are ugly, or that you don't look good or whatever i mean realistically speaking there are things that you can do okay like on this channel i say everything from my mouth if you have a different opinion go and throw it in the bin but jokes let me just say this okay all of us have good insecurities but if there's something that you can do about the way that you look do it okay you can't be complaining that you're too i'll use my insecurity right skinny you can't be complaining that you're too skinny every day if you don't want to eat you can't be complaining that you don't know how to do your makeup if you don't want to practice you can't be complaining that you don't 
um do your hair as often if you don't want to work for the money and start doing your hair often you can't be complaining that you're not losing enough weight if you don't want to work out you can't be complaining that you're not that your health is bad if you don't want to eat healthy these are certain things that we as human beings just bring upon ourselves to be honest because trust me when god was creating us all of us are all of us are made in his image okay but then you see somebody who looks like this and automatically oh my god there's something wrong with me ah, you know if you see that if you don't like your weight do something about it so people will say no it's not impossible it's not impossible to do something about it if you don't like the way your skin looks if you have acne find ways of working through it but there are some extents to which you really can't do anything about certain things that about certain things that our bodies have like for me i'll tell you guys one i have like you guys might had a surgical operation yeah on man like last week monday because i had a growth on my toe mm -hmm. i have two toes like that like another one on my right but that one is not like so bad because it hasn't like said there's no growth that my toe is black i used to be secure about it but i realized that there's really nothing i can do because i mean it's it's a nail like <laughs> i can't do anything about it so some certain things we have to learn to accept because why god made us in his image but certain things we can work we can work them out i'm not saying go get plastic surgery because i want for ish like i don't like hospital like surgery. but i mean look for creams that work on your face stuff that works on your hair we can work it out guys we can work it out you know work out you know if you want to do your makeup baths smell good it's not hard to maintain yourself what's hard is starting people are so you just want to be sitting in bed oh i'm ugly ah, you can't she you remain like that if you don't want to work it out you know mm. yeah the ring like, oh. <laughs> yes but also if you do have physical insecurities pray about it and ask god to guide you and show you what to do about it he will tell you that if there's something that you can do about it like me told me i do your toes then I, that's how you are living with it but um other things yeah yeah how to get over someone you truly love it takes time then <laughs> let yourself go through it you are like, let cry stop eating okay don't point to depression that's bad but like let yourself feel the emotions and express them if you want to cry cry allow yourself to break down and then the healing process will start eventually so that's it how, how can you stop being shy and full of self-esteem okay yeah you guys i'm not shy like um i think for me i'm just i think i was just i've never been a shy person like even as a kid like i've just never been shy but there are certain times when I do feel socially awkward. I feel like this happens a lot to a lot of us. Eh, the lighting, eh, this pimple. I need to open. There are times when I do feel socially awkward. Like, ish, guys. So many people around me. Cause yeah, but self-esteem is beauty. <laughs> guys, pray. You know, there's so many Bible verses. I could quote as many Bible verses, but I'm not here to make this like a church service i just want to let you guys know so that you guys can actually put in the work if you look in the bible or that bible app type self-esteem there's so many plans on the Vision bible app about these things confidence insecurities everything that you guys have asked me most of the advice i'm giving you is from what i learned because i've also gone through every single thing that have asked me about so yeah building self-esteem and confidence in god is the best way you can do it because trust me using material things with your confidence won't you know no 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 it won't get you anywhere because you can buy a brazilian weave for six pin and wear but if you're not confident in god <laughs> you will still be feeling ugly how do you fix time to study especially when you're active on socials ideas and tips okay guys you need to know why you're in school why are you in grade why are you in high school to pass grade 12 why are you in university to get a degree you need to know that secondly balance everything life is about balance my mom tells me this all the time life is about balance you need to balance you need to study but just you need to rest you just need to go out you need to be on social media like you need to balance everything so for me what i do personally is i have a timetable for studying and i have a to-do list things i have to do 
like i'm one person that if the if there's no like physical um timetable or checklist or something i won't get things done because i like working on a schedule so what i've done like at school i'll give you what i used to do like last semester i had i was doing three subjects last semester like three different courses so um i had a timetable so every day and things so let me let me just run you guys through my daily routine for when i'm at school so i wake up in the morning i pray read the bible get out of bed i make my bed clean my room mop sweep pack the dishes watch etc after doing that if i feel like bathing i'll bath this is the day when i don't have class I feel like bathing i'll bath if i don't have bath i won't bath start studying eight hours sharp study till 11. most of the time i eat breakfast sometimes most, i don't eat breakfast most of the time like i just drink a cup of coffee while i'm studying or i eat brunch at 11 and then i don't then I skip lunch stuff like that after studying this way now i can go on my socials now i start posting my tweets what 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 start making lunch i go visit my friends you know d you know such that free time that's also the time now I say, okay, let me rest, watch Netflix, sleep. When I wake up at 17 hours, I say, okay, at 18 hours I have to, I have to study. So now let me edit, if I have to edit anything, make a thumbnail. Um, yeah, 18 hours I start studying, 18 hours, 10, 10 hours I'm done for the day. I study for six hours every day. But that's not, sometimes I do two hours, two hours, two hours. So it depends, do what works for you. But I say the easiest way to balance who studying what is to have a timetable don't just say okay let me study now it's not study. When, if you train yourself to study on a timetable on a daily basis trust me on the day when you're not studying you feel like i'm not i'm supposed to be studying like you become so used to the timetable that you're not doing something right it doesn't even feel right with yourself you know so yeah i'm hungry since i also do accounting is there any channel on YouTube that helps in learning accounting? Sat. I, I've never seen any, but I'm sure there are because it's, there's a channel for everything these days. Advice to the matriculants. Tips on how to study, when to study ETC. I just talked about that. Make a timetable. Follow it strictly. Even if you don't feel like you do it. Yeah. So that if you do what I do, but I don't know as I'm done for the day. So I can have time to sleep, do binge, watch series, you know. Timetable everything. It's the easiest way to get through your day. How do you avoid negative thoughts, especially trust issues in a relationship? I'm an overthinker. Mm, I overthink is fun. <laughs> but the best way that I do it is I take, give everything to God and I sleep. Period. Um, how did you pass page 12? Oh, in a relationship, trust. Ah. <laughs> I feel like, okay, ah, I'm, hungry. I'm hungry, my back is pain. Trust issues in a relationship are brought about because you don't trust your partner if you don't trust your partner why are you with them learn to trust them if you don't trust them leave the relationship how did you pass grade 12 i studied one day i knew what i wanted i was always studying but my friends would say that i studied too much i would always study i would always pray i would always make sure that my spiritual life is checked even though i just used to read the bible for re <coughs> And yeah, balance everything. Like I said, timetable, what, what? Uh -huh. This question was my go-to place for jewelry. Um, to be okay. Um, I don't have a specific go-to place for jewelry. To be honest, if I see something that I like, I'm going to buy it. Like this particular place. A lot of people ask me about it. I got it in Woods. It was like 120 kwacha at Levy. Yeah. So I don't really have a specific go-to place. There's this really cute jewelry store in North Mid though. I've just forgotten the name, but generally, if I, even if it's in MRP, like if it's something that I think is cute, even those two must stands outside Levy and whatever, be it in the market, like as long as I see something that I like how it looks, I'm going to buy. Like I really don't have, I'm not going to like to get that day that I get my stuff from stands. I'm not rich, so yeah. The next question was advice of people finish, for people finishing school this year. And guys let me just tell you that enjoy the last moments that you have at your high schools because trust me a lot of us are, are missing high school because we thought society is going to be like way better i mean like it does have its ups compared to i mean obviously like there's more freedom in uni there's more time 
to do certain things like being with friends and whatever but really it's equally hell honestly because this whole invest is hard everything is hard passing is hard like it's super super hard so just enjoy the time that you have with your friends right now like in your respective high schools and remember that you're going those moments are go, those are the moments that are going to treasure like forever also when you do finish school like when you finish school and whatever don't expect society to be like this rainbow thing first of all let me just tell you guys when i finished school i was broke and bored for a good seven months i think like it's crazy because you know i know the i know what you're currently thinking like when i finish school we're taking pictures and when we're going out that's a lie like honestly there's so much that i can tell you guys but just just be ready for anything don't expect too much actually like when you finish school because it's really not that deep i'd rather go back to high school <laughs> yeah channels advice who's both finishing school but are still not sure about their career choices and whatnot so okay basically um what i'll tell you is don't go to university and do a course that you've been forced to do or don't like because you're going to spend your university years regretting because university can either make or break you and you don't want to spend these last few days of youth for years thing that you don't love you know um i would say if you're still not sure about the course you want to do be patient and wait it out but don't wait too long like do your research ask around what you want to do i know it can really be hard for me personally like i told you guys i like working on a plan for me the plan for them was ingredient was to do a ACC, like accounting because i love math and whatever but i know for a lot that's not the case for most people so if you're still not sure about what you want to study like what well, are grade 12 like don't it's okay like i mean all of us are all of us are, our interests are always changing so like it's okay um just make sure that when you finish school give yourself some time to really think things out and evaluate your options and see which field you would enjoy trust me everything is hard all the courses at law medicine accounts everything is hard but you need to find what which hard you're going to enjoy because trust me nothing comes easy even if you want to say you want to become a model or whatever it's not like brands are going to start following you just you know if you want to go into the music industry the arts watch if nothing is easy in life so just find your heart and roll with it this question after i don't know how long this is going to be but yeah the last question was would you get the covid vaccine no okay like personally i i don't i no <laughs> like but yeah so i find it fishy but i was talking to the doctor the other day like when i was at the hospital and he was saying no the vaccine is not really like preventing you can still get covid it's just that you won't die maybe something like that i don't know but like really yeah I, me and just stay safe guys mask sanitizer Stop being with other people. Chigundi too much. Doing too much. Chimpwena and and Mungulu. You must stop. Macha guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for listening through all the questions that you guys had to, had for me. I made sure I answered all of them. I didn't leave out any. So if you think I left out any, you are lying. I said everything. And yeah. So I hope you guys yeah enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you think about my opinions, even though they are my opinions. I don't expect <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm tired. I think this is all I had to do today. I um yeah, today is already I think I'm done for the day to be honest, because oh my god, I'm so pretty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I hope you guys had a good day subscribe and comment share and come back for my next video and yeah fish my back is aching i'm going to watch avatar yeah so anyway um <laughs> bye guys